I'm Isabella Roman, and this is your Digital News Brief. Student-led protests in Hong Kong are back to being peaceful after police used pepper spray and tear gas in the crowds. The protesters are demanding open elections for a new leader and the resignation of Hong Kong's current leader. Hong Kong's leader said China will not back down and told the protesters to leave immediately. Congress sets a hearing for the Secret Service this week after the man who broke into the White House got farther than people thought. Last week's intruder, Omar Gonzalez, actually overpowered a Secret Service agent and got as far as the East Room. Obama and the first family were not home during the intrusion. Virginia State Police say the disappearance of a UVA student, Hannah Graham, might be connected to the 2009 disappearance of Virginia Tech student Morgan Harrington. There was a break in Harrington's case after Jesse Matthews was arrested with connection to Graham's case and charged with abduction and intent to defile. Afghanistan's new president will sign a security agreement that the U.S. will, lead, will let about 10,000 U.S. troops stay in the country. The troops will stay to train soldiers and hold counterterrorism operations. The U.S. government is pleased with this decision after the last Afghanistan leader did not sign the agreement. The California governor has signed a bill that clearly defines what sexual consent means. This is the first kind of law in the U.S. that would help make sexual assault investigations more clear-cut. This law follows the Department of Education's investigations of sexual assault cases on U.S. college campuses. I'm Isabella Roman, and that was your Digital News Brief.